Jordan River is located in the Middle East. Following the river flow, there is one lake. It's Lake Galilee with clean water. Fresh trees and aquatic creatures live in the lake. It is always lively there. If you go down to the south, there is a lake even greater and deeper than Lake Galilee. It looks mystical and beautiful with emerald color. So many people are attracted to visit this lake. Your body automatically flows even if you don't swim in this lake. It's amazing. But there is a fatal flaw in this beautiful lake. What? what? Really? Yes, in this lake, no life can exist. Oh. This lake is a famous Dead Sea where barely some bacteria live. The Dead Sea is full of white salt. And Lake Galilee is full of greens and lives. It seems like there is no similarity between the two. Surprisingly, however, both have the same birthplace. Their water is from the same source, which is the Jordan River. Then, why is it that the outcome is completely different? Galilee receives the water from Jordan and lets it flow out again. By letting the water flow along with its nutrients and salinity, it becomes a good environment for life to grow. In the Dead Sea, on the other hand, the river water doesn't flow out but stays. Since the water is captured in the lake, the salt level continuously goes up. And nothing can live because of the high concentration of salt. It is a dead lake, although it may look beautiful. Everyone likes to receive love and care, but it is not easy to give. Sometimes, it may even feel like you are losing something. However, caring and considering for others is never just for others. It is for the happiness of both, the one who gives and the one who receives. How about now we change from receiving love to giving love? Just like Lake Galilee, where life exists, and just like God, who always gives love. <laughs>